Stefan can, if he wants to, go outside and walk around without a shirt on, even if we're not in one of the naked areas around the city of Munich. And our society doesn't generally have a problem with that. Why can't I? Should I be able to? Do I even want to? Here's what I'm thinking. Let me know down in the comments what you're thinking. Hey everyone, Dana here. In South Florida, where I lived for many years before moving to Europe, I saw guys walking around outside without a shirt on all the time. Maybe doing some work in the yard, hanging out by the pool, going for a run. It's not just kinda hot in South Florida during the summer. It can be really, really hot in South Florida during the summer. Find out just how hot in this video that I did here, but suffice it to say that women also often went out without too much clothing on, but even if they were just wearing a sports bra as a top, their breasts were still covered. And I can imagine that going out without that sports bra would have caused quite a commotion. But I don't think that I really gave all of that too much thought back then. It was just what I had grown up with and it was just kind of how things were. Since moving to Europe, however, I've been thinking a little bit more about nudity. As I've mentioned in what feels like at this point a million and one videos, at least one of them linked up there, society as a whole is a lot more chill about the naked body in Germany compared to the USA, including it being pretty normal to go to saunas and these swimming pool areas here in Germany where everyone is just hanging out naked in one shared naked space. It's not split up into men's sauna and women's sauna area, but rather everyone is just hanging out in one area. But on just my second visit to a German sauna place like this, something happened that really shocked me and kind of shook me and made me realize that even in Germany with the naked zones in some places of the city and this seemingly more relaxed attitude to the naked body. There is still a double standard alive and well when it comes to breasts. Or rather, let's say it like it is, more specifically when it comes to nipples. Women's nipples, because yeah, it's not the whole breast that is apparently the problem and men's nipples are apparently just fine, but yeah. Apparently there's something about women's nipples in particular that our society just can't seem to handle. Okay, so what happened at the German sauna place? I think I actually talked about this in a video like maybe four years ago, but I'm gonna tell the story again because that was a while ago. Stefan and I went to a German sauna and at first I will say it did feel a little strange to be walking around naked or with just a towel on, hanging out in a sauna completely naked with a bunch of other completely naked people, swimming in a pool naked with a bunch of other naked people, but everyone else seemed perfectly comfortable with it, so I also relaxed. And the longer we spent at the place, the more and more relaxed about it I got. So when we turned up at the second sauna place a few weeks later, this was now my second time with the German sauna experience and I was feeling a little bit braver. At the first one, when going from one sauna or pool to another, I noticed that most of the men walked around with a towel tied around their waist and most of the women walked around with a towel tied up here. Then they would get to the sauna or pool and remove the towel there. But the second time that Stefan and I went to a sauna pool place like that, we went to a different place and this time I noticed that many of the men 
and many of the women were walking around the area with the towel tied around just their waist so that also the women's chests were exposed as they walked around too. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, right? Or in this case, when in a German sauna pool place, do as the German sauna pool goers do. So yeah, I gathered my courage and I rearranged my towel so that now it was just hanging around my waist as well. And both Stefan and I walked around the sauna place like that with both of our towels down at our waists and both of our chests were exposed and Everything was just dandy. Until that is, we decided to go grab a little drink at this cafe area right next to the pool. I checked my surroundings before going to take a seat at the cafe. There were definitely people just chilling there in their towels, topless, which made sense to me because we were still in the naked sauna pool area. We were actually right next to the pool that I had just finished swimming completely naked in. There were literally people walking right by the tables topless and I could see naked people swimming in the pool. This was not a separate area of any kind. So anyway, Stefan and I went and we sat down, both of us still with our towels tied around our waists. A few seconds later, a very flustered, very embarrassed, very red-faced with embarrassment server came over and with his voice full of shame, he, he said something to me like, I'm sorry, but you can't be here like that. You can't just sit here like that. And at the time, I was so mortified. I had just gotten up my courage to walk around topless because, you know, the other people were doing it and then I was shamed for sitting at a cafe table like that. Yeah, in the moment I was just so embarrassed. I pulled my towel up as fast as I could and I had to stop myself from, you know, tearing up from embarrassment. My face was all red, I was so embarrassed. But now years later, I'm freaking pissed. That is so messed up. I I wish, I wish I'd been able to stick up for myself at the time. I really didn't feel, I was too embarrassed. But yeah, it's really messed up that I was shamed for sitting there at the cafe topless while we were in the naked area and it was apparently fine for Stefan and all the other guys to sit there in the cafe showing their chest. Stefan and all the other guys were just sitting there topless as well and we were in the naked area and the way that the server came over and said it to me with so much embarrassment in his voice, like I was doing something so shameful, while he didn't say anything at all to Stefan. Like, what was so shameful about me sitting there with my chest exposed that wasn't shameful for Stefan? Why are my nipples so much more shameful than Stefan's. That just makes no sense to me. If I were to take a really up close photo of my nipples and a really up close photo of Stefan's nipples or any of the other guys' nipples who were there, I don't think that you would be able to tell like whose nipples was whose, you know? They're just nipples. There's absolutely no reason that my nipples should have been treated with shame while Stefan's nipples were totally ignored. The idea in our society that women's nipples are somehow inherently sexual and therefore need to be covered up while men's nipples are somehow less sexual and therefore don't have to be covered up has so many holes in it that the moment that you really start to investigate this idea, it, it just it breaks down immediately. Some of the reasons that I found online for why women's nipples are inherently sexual and should be covered is that one, they can be stimulated and cause erotic pleasure. Um, first of all, not all women's nipples. Some women don't necessarily have very sensitive nipples. And second of all, some men do. So, or lots of men do. I don't know the percentages, but I don't think that's just a men-women thing. Plus, there are lots of other parts of our body that cause pleasure. Take kissing, for example. 
kissing is pleasurable. Should we all cover up our lips when we go out in public? No, so that's out. I also read that some people claim that women's breasts and women's nipples are inherently sexual because they are categorized as secondary sex characteristics while men's breasts and men's nipples are not. But you know what else is categorized as secondary sex characteristics? Men growing body hair, including the body hair on their chest that they are allowed to show when they take their shirts off, as well as the enlargement of men's Adam's apples. So I guess by that logic, guys should be wearing turtlenecks whenever they go out in public. Stefan, do you even own a turtleneck? No, Stefan doesn't even own a turtleneck, so. And then another argument that I found online for why women's nipples should be covered up but not men's is that women's nipples are considered inherently sexual because, because men find them to be sexual. <laughs> what? No, that is not an acceptable reason for it. Remember back in the day when women had to cover up their knees because men found them sexy, or we couldn't wear tank tops because our shoulders were considered too sexy, you know? In our society, all of that is a thing of the past, thank goodness, and it's not very good to base this decision now on our breasts on that same logic from the past. Okay, so would I wanna walk around outside topless? Maybe. I don't know, maybe, but that doesn't really matter. That's not the point. It's not about whether I really want to go topless in public or not. It's about that it's not right for this double standard to exist. Women should have the right to go around topless if they want to, just like men can. Women should have the right to post their topless photos to social media if men can. And if I go to a naked sauna pool place in Germany, I should definitely not be shamed for actually being the exact same amount naked as Stefan. So my question for you is, what are your thoughts on this topic? How do you feel about walking around topless in public? Is it something you do? Something you'd like to do? If it's illegal for you to do that where you live, what are your thoughts on that? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know in advance, but I'm thinking that maybe talking about nipples and breasts in this video could cause the video to get demonetized. Maybe not though, unfortunately. You never know sometimes. But yeah, either way, I just thought that I would throw out there a few ways that you can support me if you'd like to. Um, we're on Patreon, and now is, would also be a great time for me to say a really, really, really big thank you so much to our patrons who support us on Patreon. Thank you for your support. We also have Wanted Adventure t-shirts and so Wanted Adventure designs on the t-shirts, but also like Einhörnchen, I have an Einhörnchen t-shirt and a Heise Citrona t-shirt. More links down in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell ding ling ling thingy um, for my channel and keep an eye out for new videos on Monday afternoons. And if you feel like it, maybe think about passing this video along to your friends or telling them about this channel. Thank you so much for your support. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.